hello guys and welcome back so as you know that we can now perform attack we can perform dodge our player can walk around okay we have a fully functional fighting controller ready now the next thing which we will be adding is some effects okay for example if we play the game and right here if we perform the first attack we want to show some effect on the player leg okay and also in the second third and fourth attack as well okay so for the effects i have used this package which is by the name of hit impact effects free this is the creator name travis game assets you can go ahead and open up unity asset store and search for it it is freely available okay then when you click on this open in unity then open unity editor it will open up the package manager window like this then you can just simply download it and after downloading it click on import and this is all of the effects let's import it after that if we check our assets folder right here if you see the prefabs then in the hits you will find these effects okay okay let's change to scene view and drag and drop it right here if we click on restart as you can see these are the effects right so once we have these four effects what we're gonna do now is right here we will create another header name this as effects and sound okay then create a public particle system name this as attack one effect okay then just simply copy it paste it three times and change this to attack two attack three and attack four then we can scroll down right here after the perform dodge front what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a method by the name of attack one effect okay and if you notice this attack one effect e and a is capital and if you see right here the particle system name is attack one effect as well but the a right here is small okay so make sure that you name them correctly or else it will show you an error all right so when this method is called we want the attack one effect to play so we will just simply type attack one effect dot play that's it we can now copy it this method whole method and paste it three times then change the method name first of all to attack to effect and right here call the attack to effect dot play then right here type three and right here type three then the same for the four as well all right so this will basically play the uh, effects now if we save the script get back right here okay click on eddy here are the references which we need to provide so as you know that our first attack is this one if we add eddy in there if you notice this is the first attack which is the right kick attack as you can see so we need to add our first effect in the right leg okay so if you open up eddy then open up this hips then right up leg right leg right foot if you click on it here it is okay so now in the right toe base we will add an effect okay so what we're gonna do is let's move this Travis game assets inside the game folder okay then if you click on it open the folder go inside prefab hits okay so this is the first we don't want to play this one on the right leg we will be playing this hit underscore zero two effect okay so let me delete it again and this time drag and drop it inside the right toe base right there as you can see now we need to click on uh, prefab unpack completely and name this to effect one for example 
okay and we need to do some changes in here so guys make sure that you follow this video step by step okay or else you will mess this up first of all what we're gonna do is right here you will find this stop action and it is set to destroy we don't want to destroy it we will just simply set it to none okay because after playing this effect we don't want to destroy it because we'll be playing it again if the player kicks again okay and also we want to increase the size of it so change the start size to 5 like this okay so I will set it to 5 and set that to none that's it and also make sure that the play on awake is off okay because when we start the game we don't want the effect to play we want it to play only when we attack okay so make sure that you do these three changes and that's it okay this is our effect one now if you click on animation 2 attack 2 animation as you can see this uh, in this animation if you see the player uses the left hand as you can see this is the player left hand okay right here this is the player left hand so now we need to open up the player left hand if you open up this spine right here then spine one spine two open up left shoulder left arm left left forearm left hand and inside the left hand we will add our second effect now so go inside prefab hits and let's see where that effect is not this one not this one I think it is this effect this third one hit underscore three okay so drag and drop it inside the left hand okay right there click on prefab unpack completely name this as effect two okay and let's make that, that three changes remove play on awake set the stop action to none and change the start size to five okay now if you play it as you can see there it is okay it will show that error but you can just simply clear it out I don't know why it is due to this package but they can be removed simply so just clear them out now as you can see there is the effect on the player hand alright so if our effect 3 is done now let's check the third animation here it is in the third animation the player uses the left leg okay so let's click on scene view again let me minimize that okay so this is the right leg this was the left arm now right here left up leg open that up and get inside the left toe base in here we will add our effect so if you open this up for the left leg we will use the first effect okay which is this one so drag and drop it inside the left toe base click on it click on prefab unpack completely let's name this as effect 3 okay and now let's do that five changes change the size to five and then remove play on awake change the stop action to none if you restart it there it is all right it plays perfectly fine now the last one if you double click on it as you can see this is set to the right leg again so right leg is right here okay we already have an effect in the right leg so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna duplicate the effect 1 and change it to effect 4 okay and if you want to use some other effect then you can add that effect in the right leg okay and set it up like this and just simply change that three settings stop action to none remove play on awake change the start size to 5 if the effect is small okay so now I have all of the five effects for the five uh, I mean four effects for the four animations okay now what I'm gonna do is right here attack one effect so I'm gonna drag and drop the effect one in there then effect two then effect three and then the effect four 
and when you drag and drop all of the effects in there now we can just simply close the hips and close the eddy main game object because all of the effects are now added okay so now the next step is to play these effects correctly okay what I mean by that is right here if we uh, see this attack one animation okay you will notice that we will we will play the animation right right here when the player hits okay right here when the player hits the opponent okay we will be playing the effect right on this point and the same for the attack too we will play the effect right here when the player hits the opponent okay right here and the same for the third on the third one we will play the effect right here when the player hits the opponent like this and if you check the fourth animation here it is okay we will play the image uh, effect right at this point all right so let me tell you how we can do that okay and let me tell you that you guys need to make sure that you follow me step by step okay so if you notice this is our attack animations and as you can see we only have the motion right here okay so make sure that whatever attack animation you are using you just only have to have that animation dot anim file with you okay because dot anim file are editable or you can say we can edit that animations which are a simple motions like this okay if you notice all of our animations are just motions all right so if we select the first animation like that click on animation and as you can see uh, if you click on attack one animation you notice the motion name is attack underscore five combo underscore b underscore two so as you can see it is selected right here as well okay if you click on eddy and right here you can select that animation attack underscore five combo underscore b underscore two if you select it you will notice this is the animation okay if you click on scene view here is our player now if we try to move this forward as you can see the player moves to this position let me turn off the gizmos here it is now if we move the animation forward as you can see the player is playing the animation so now right at this point we will be playing the effect okay right here right on this point so in order to play the effect right here click on this add event okay we will add an event right here as you can see it added this event right here this little dot okay so just select that event it will show this function right here so as you know that in the fighting controller we have methods and we want to play the attack one effect okay so right at this point it will always now play the effect okay now let's see our second animation if you double click on if you single click on it this is the motion name attack underscore four com underscore three so select eddy and from here here it is attack underscore four combo underscore three this is the animation if you move this forward as you can see this is the animation okay so from here uh, right at this point we want to play the effect okay right here when the player hand is in this position so add an event from the fighting controller method select attack to effect okay this is the method which we created now let's see the third animation its name is attack left high kick so select eddy attack left high kick this is the animation click on scene view if we now move forward okay this is the animation so
let's play the anim animation right on this point or actually let's play it right on this point okay so at an event fighting controller methods attack three effect let's check the fourth one it is attack underscore three combo underscore three so select ready attack three combo underscore three select that animation click on scene let's move the animation forward this is the animation okay so right at this point okay we will add an event right here and in the fighting controller method select attack for effect okay so we are calling these methods in this function using events okay we are not calling these methods in the update because that will be that will not give us the result which we want okay and the result is we want to play the effects right at the point where the player hits the opponent okay so now once you do all of that okay then you can just simply go ahead and play the game and when you play the game here is our character let me move and dodge okay the player can perfectly work now if we perform the first attack as you can see when the player hits as you can see right at that point it plays the effect as you can see and it looks really good now if you uh, perform the second right as you can see it looks really good okay now if you perform the third one there it is okay the third one is a little bit late so we will move the event a little bit backward okay now let's check the fourth one okay the fourth one is also i think a little bit late so we're gonna fix that stop the game it is attack left high kick so click on eddy click on animation attack left high kick here it is if you check the scene view okay so this is the attack okay we will move this event right here okay then let's check the fourth animation it is attack three combo three attack three combo three check the scene view move the animation forward okay here it is so move this event back right there okay just one frame backward that is that is it now if we play the game again okay here it is let move forward let's play it so first second third fourth now as you can see it plays perfectly fine but if you notice our second effect is really small so we need to increase its size so if you open up eddy then hips let's check the effect 2 here it is let's make the start size 7 close eddy again play the game again okay so now if we play it okay now it looks good as you can see okay you can uh, make the size of each of the effect as you like but i will leave the values as it is so now our player can perform uh, the attacks and also play effects as well okay now we have a fully functional fighting system now in the next video what we will be doing is we will be adding an opponent so that we can give our damage to that opponent and also we want the opponent to fight back as well but before that we will be adding some hit effects okay whenever we perform any uh, animation or you can say any attack we want to add some sound to it okay so in the next video we will be doing that